you are here with Tri-Pedal Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Zebra Trem from Rounder Sounds. This is a trem pedal currently being developed by a super nice guy named Bill Neal out of New Zealand. He was kind enough to let a few of us borrow this pedal and try out for ourselves. It will be the first product that Rounder Sounds releases. The pedal can do all the basic waveforms such as sine, square, triangle, sawtooth, and reverse sawtooth. The signal path is fully analog. The brain controlling the modulation is digital. It has true bypass. What makes this pedal special is that you have the ability to program in your own wave shapes and patterns. So this is like a programmable pattern trim, but with more flexibility. You've got control over the volume, depth, and speed like you would expect on any trim. This knob right here allows you to select your various wave shapes and edit your various wave shapes. Currently, you have the ability to both back up and restore your waveforms if you want. You have tap tempo, and this same switch can be used to reset your pattern from the beginning if for some reason you get out of tempo with your song. The pedal feels like it was built very well. Usually I'm a bit iffy when pedals come with these push button encoders because a lot of them feel flimsy and it makes me question how much serious use you can get out of them. But whatever is used on this pedal is really good. Also, I used the USB port to update the firmware and I had no issues there. And the USB port also feels very solid, which is great. Overall, I just like the feel of this pedal. It's very solid. While this hasn't been released yet, I think it's a super innovative idea and wanted to share it with you guys. You guys know I'm a sucker for trem pedals. So first let's listen to it, then we'll dive a bit into the editing of the wave shapes and patterns. So without further ado, let's get into it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
we're going to take a look first at editing a complex waveform. The complex waveform allows for more flexibility. The first section is the segments. A segment is anything within the selection box, basically the defined area that you're working with. So here we see the selection box, and we are adjusting the duration of that segment. We can either enlarge that or make it shorter. Next, we can adjust the start volume, which is the start volume of our segment. Here we're turning that up and then back down again. Next, we can adjust the end volume, which is the end volume of our segment. We can either adjust that down or up. Next, we can move a segment. This takes whatever your current segment is and moves it throughout the waveform. And you can either move that forward or backwards. Next, we can delete a segment. We can adjust the maximum volume of a segment, which is the peak volume. Here we're turning that down. And then back up again. We can adjust the minimum volume of a segment, which is the trough volume. So we can either move that up or down. So for each segment, we have control of the duration of that segment, the start and end volumes, the maximum volume, the minimum volume, and we also can move the segment or delete the segment. Section two is the naming of the preset. Your letters are going to cycle through capitals and then lowercase, numbers, and then your symbols and space. And then back to capital letters again. And you can do that for every single letter that's in that section. Next, we have the preset controls, which allow you to copy, add, or delete presets. Section four, you can adjust the number of taps in your waveform. This has to do with timing. So if you want a slower trim pattern, you can decrease the taps. If you want a faster one, you can increase the taps. And then section five, we can add segments onto the end of our waveform. When we go to add a segment, we can either do a sign, which is your smoother shapes or line. So if you want to do like a triangle or square shape, you would do line. If you want to do a smoother shape, you would do sign. So we've been taking a look at the complex waveform. If you add a preset, you have the choice of simple or complex. We'll now take a look at the simple waveform. On a simple waveform, we have control of the number of bumps. So you can either increase this or decrease it.
And then we also have control of each bump's volume. So we can adjust that either up or down. And I'll just go ahead and do that on all of these various bumps. So as an overview, we have five sections. Section one is the segment adjustments. Section two is the naming of the presets. Section three is the preset control. Section four is the taps adjustments. And section five, you can add segments to your presets.